and she did a video about what apparently are the three biggest atheists are in the YouTube atheist community, whatever that's supposed to be. Uh, apparently, so I'm told, this is Pack on Nell, Thunderfoot, and The Amazing Atheist. I have to admit, I don't really bother ever checking how popular people are. I really just don't ever make a lot of effort. Uh, to do this, but apparently I'm told that that's the big three biggest. And uh, recently, we've had his um, back on Nell made another video talking about how he doesn't like Islam very much, <laughs> you know, because we don't have enough of those. Yeah, you know, it's not like we have uh, plenty of these already. <laughs> back on Nell, yeah, you know, obviously needs to make more of these. So we've got another video where Pat Monell goes on about why he doesn't like Islam, and he doesn't like it because it's homophobic and blah 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 blah. Uh, you know, uh, also doesn't support women's rights, is uh, repressive to women. Uh, of course, Pat Mundell, of course, is uh, a supporter of the UKIP, who are also homophobic and don't support women's rights, and so on. But, of course, that's okay, because that's not, uh, you know, Islamic homophobia. That's, uh, that's uh, non-Islamic homophobia, which apparently is the okay kind of homophobia, and same with misogyny, it's the okay form of it. So I guess we're okay with that. <coughs> Uh, then if we move on, um, Thunderfoot's made another video about something he doesn't know anything about. Uh, he's moved on from making videos about Islam and now moved on to making videos about feminism. What, what bothers me a bit is that this is only the third in this series of videos where he attacks feminism. He does put the word feminism in inverted commas. So, you know, just in case he yeah, gets called out by any of the many, many other types of feminism other than the one the very tiny area he happens to be attacking. Uh, but we're only on the third video, which means there's probably a shitload of this shit to, to sit through. And, you know, yeah, I suppose if I was a bit more sensible, I'd probably just not watch these videos. But I, I kind of feel uh, obligated to, um, just because I don't think it's... I have the luxury of just ignoring things that are going on in the community I'm sort of part of. So, yeah, we sit through these things. In this video, um, it, wow, we, we get atheism plus compared to Hitler, so we've we've got Godwin's law slap bang on the head there. Um, well, let's say compared to, Hitler, compared to the uh, Nazi movement in general. I mean, if I was to compare atheism plus to any movement in history, I, I don't know what it would be, because it, 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 most of these movements have, have failed. Uh, to the point where we don't even know what they are, unless you're a really, really, really scrutinous historian, you might actually know what some of these movements have been, but um, Atheism Plus is just another movement that's going to fail, partly because it's just a very tacky rebranding of secular humanism, which we've had for a lot longer. Um, and most atheists in the atheist community of YouTube don't really go on about secular humanism much because they're way too busy um, getting into slanging matches with creationists so they don't really spend a lot of time talking about actual moral philosophy or politics or anything like that. So, uh, <laughs> so atheism plus is just one of these things that's going to fail. It, it doesn't deserve any more attention than it's actually being given. Uh, probably because it's, it's rebranded so tackily. Uh, it sounds like I an mean, atheism plus sounds like a a type of energy drink or an insurance company or some kind of web browser it just has this naff name we already have secular humanism we've had it for a long time um, it would be nice if uh, the atheist community of youtube paid a bit more attention to this instead of just um, getting angry with the creationists and so on but i guess that's uh, just wishful thinking but also in this video thunderfoot uh he makes the point that he thinks richard carry uh, he thinks Richard Carrier does a worse job than The Amazing Atheist would. He thinks The Amazing Atheist would make a better uh, leader for the atheist community than Richard Carrier would, or any, any of the other Atheist Plus advocates. <laughs> I don't know what we should call them, Atheist Positives maybe, that's what they should be called. I don't know, Plus Atheists, I don't know. But uh, I don't know if this is supposed to be an insult to Richard Carrier or a compliment to The Amazing Atheist. I don't really know which it's supposed to be. Or a bit of both, maybe, I don't know. Um, but the answer is just somebody's recently um, made it, you know, made a load of hoo ha again about me, uh, making a sex tape where he apparently pours oil all over his balls. Um, so, yeah, that's really who we want leading the community. Uh, somebody who, whose sex tape is leaked, <laughs> leaked onto the internet. Uh, because that, this happens to all of us, obviously. We all make sex tapes, don't we? And then we just, we just leave them lying around and they somehow jump into 
our hard drive and then they sort of work their way onto the internet against our will. We've all been there, you know, we all have this problem. Um, yeah, it, it leaked, it, it was leaked onto the internet, not uploaded deliberately, as another tacky publicity stunt. And what's worse is Thunderfoot actually appeals to this stupid side of TJ in in, in his, his latest video. He actually says, oh well, oh he, look at TJ, he deals with uh, criticism so well, he deals with uh, all this stuff so well. Well he kind of starts this stuff, in tacky stupid publicity for himself. So I'm not really sure whether this is supposed to be, you know, that sounds like it's a compliment to the Amazing Atheist, but then we get this this insinuation that he'd make a better uh, leader for, for the atheist community than Richard Carrier would, which I just think, wow. Um, you know, but if that's an insult, that's really below the belt. If he's actually being serious, that's just really stupid. I mean, because you know, people who put oil over, I mean, if you want to pour oil over your balls, I suppose you're perfectly entitled to do that. I mean, you're kind of an idiot, but okay, what you do in the privacy of your own home is kind of up to you. But uh, if this is how many subscribers you're that TJ is losing that he has to actually um, release yet another sex tape and pretend that he didn't release it and it's been leaked and it really doesn't really doesn't bode well for these guys and um, you know it's sort of in a way it's a bit depressing that these three guys are the biggest three atheists on YouTube although even that's debatable the amazing atheist doesn't make videos about atheism that much he just happens to have the word atheist in his name I think if you look at how many videos he's made that are on the subject of atheism compared to the ones that aren't it's probably you know not very many um and Thunderfoot of course has graduated to going on about feminism now despite being corrected on this subject of both feminism and Islam by actual social scientists he still seems to think he knows better you know just like creationists seem to think they know more about science than he does so the uh, the parallel there is quite is perhaps going over some people's heads so it is perhaps a bit a bit of a shame that these are the three biggest atheists on YouTube, but that said, I mean, the most popular of any movement are uh, quite often not the best at it. Uh, if you look at music, I mean, if you want to get into music, you're not going to look at what's in the top 40. You need to dig around in a proper dirty little indie record shop and find something really cool. Same goes with TV shows, you know, you're not, you're not just going to watch soap operas or reality TV if you want to get into some decent TV shows, you've got to actually look around a bit, maybe dig through some DVDs and some, uh, you know, bargain bin in some in some, some video store somewhere and you might find some really good uh, TV gold from the golden age of broadcasting. Uh, same with anything else really, if you want to get into any kind of movement get to the really good stuff you do have to look a bit uh dig a little bit underground and uh, and see what you can find rather than just accepting what happens to be coming at you from the top of the pile but anyway those are just a few thoughts i'm going to be making uploading some other videos soon some of which are going to have nothing to do with atheism because <laughs> we all need a bit of a break from uh, the shit storm the youtube atheism from time to time uh but anyway goodbye